In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you seven amazing apps and programs that all actors need to know about. Most of these you probably never even heard of, and some of them will allow you to do tasks that you might not know how to do, uh, and it will simplify things for you. So watch this video until the end, and you are going to walk away knowing how to do things that will be so beneficial to you as an actor. Okay, let's get started. Hey, I'm Aaron Marcus, and welcome to the Acting and Modeling Quick Tips channel, where I share information with people who are just beginning in the acting or modeling industry, and also for those who've been working in the business for a while but want to take their career to the next level. If you haven't done this yet, don't forget to click the subscribe button and especially the bell, the notification button. So that way, every time I upload a new video, you will be sent a notice. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And that way, other people know the value of this video. So twice a month, I try my best to upload a new video for you, just depending on my schedule. And mo most importantly, um, if you know of any apps or programs that are really helpful to actors, please share them below. And um, let's get started here. The very first program I'm going to be sharing with you is called Handbrake. And Handbrake allows you to do a couple of different things really well. One is if you shot a video and it has to be uploaded as an MP4, then you can do that at Handbrake. The other thing is sometimes you shoot an audition and it just might be a really large file and some places have limits as to how large the file can be. You can reduce the size in Handbrake, download it, and then send off your audition. So let's go visit the site. So here's Handbrake. This is a wonderful program. Uh, you can use it to either reduce the size of a video um, or if you need to change the extension. It's a really simple program to use. The second program I want to share with you is called QPrompter. Basically, this allows you to use a free teleprompter. Uh, you can use it on your phone, you can use it on your computer, and there might be times where you're shooting an audition where you are an on-camera narrator. Maybe there is a very long stretch of dialogue uh, that you just don't have time to memorize, and you can use QPrompter uh, to make this audition look great. Okay, let's go visit the website really quickly, and I can tell you more about it. So here's QPrompter. If you ever have a need to use a teleprompter for an audition or maybe a job or maybe just for practicing, this is a really, really great site to go to. Here's program number three. There are times you have to send a large file, um, mostly from an audition. And if you're using a, a company like Actors Access, 800 Casting, Casting Networks, uh, then it's really simple. You just upload it right into their program. However, there might be times where you have to send your audition to your agent, maybe directly to a casting director, or maybe you just have a large file that you want to send to somebody else. You can't send it as an attachment in your email. It's just way, way too big. But here is a great company, and it's called WeTransfer. And they have a paid version and a free version. I believe in the free version, you can send up to two gigabytes of information, which is more than enough for pretty much any audition you're going to do. Um, so anyhow, here's a great program. We'll take a quick peek at their website. So here's WeTransfer. It's, it's great. Uh, they do have a pro version. And for right now, you probably don't need it. Uh, I would start off with the free version and then see if you feel the need to uh, upgrade to the pro version. Here's program number four. There are times where you might have to um, change the format of a photo. And either you have to put it into a PNG file or maybe a JPEG file. So here is a great program that allows you to do this really easily. Let's go take a look at their website. Here's Convert Files. Uh, it's really simple and uh, very easy to use. Here is app number five. This is just an amazing app. It's called Boomerang. And I know you can use it in Gmail. Uh, I'm not 100% sure about other, um, uh, other types of emails. Certainly check it out. With Boomerang, it is a game changer. 
it allows you to do some amazing things. Like one, you can actually track an email that you send out to see if it's been opened. This is incredibly helpful. If you are sending something to an agent, you are sending something to a casting director, you wanna make sure that they got it because normally we just don't know. So this will allow you to know because you will receive an a, a email back saying, yes, it's been open. Also, if you want to delay the sending of your email to another day, you can do that as well. There are other things that you can also do with Boomerang. Now, there are uh, a couple of versions. You can pay for a version that will allow you to do a lot more. Um, with the free version, I believe that you can track 10 emails a month. Um, and there, there are other things that you can do with the free uh, version as well. But it really is an incredible app uh, for sending out emails. Okay, let's take a quick peek at their website. Here is the website for Boomerang. And uh, I'm telling you, this can really change your life when you are sending out emails. Here's program number six. If you've ever done or thought of reading uh, audiobooks, um, maybe auditioning for narrations or uh, maybe radio spots, you need a program you know, in order to record things and edit things. There's a free program, it's called Audacity. And it is an amazing, it's an amazing program. It's easy to use and highly recommend that you check it out. Let's go take a look at their website. Here's the website for Audacity. And as you can see, you can download it for both a Mac and a PC. It's really, it's just an amazing program that you really wanna check out. If you have any interest in doing like I said, audiobooks or any kind of voiceover work. Here is the very last program I'm going to be sharing with you. This is number seven. If you're reading a script um, and you're just not 100% sure how to pronounce a word or you've got the size for an audition, you're not 100% sure, it's a really, uh, it's a great website. It's called Forvo and it will tell you how to pronounce the word. You always need to make sure that you are pronouncing words properly. So let's check out their website. So here is Forvo. Um, it's, it's a very simple program and it's just great. It will tell you exactly how to pronounce a word. Hey, I hope you found this really helpful. And once again, if you haven't done this yet, don't forget to subscribe, click the bell, the notification button, and like the video. Um, the other thing too is, if there is a program or an app that you have found really helpful, please leave it in the comments below. That's why I'm doing these videos, to help share information with other people, to build a community of other people who are trying to help other actors and models in the industry. So yeah, if you know of, uh, of another program or an app, please share it below. Can't wait to talk with you again soon. See ya.